What's up, Gummy friends? My name is Gummy Bear, and welcome back. I have to turn my volume down. Welcome back to Rocket Dancer. Now, you may be wondering, why am I playing this game? Uh, ha didn't I finish it on the channel, like, years ago? Uh, some of you probably don't even know this game, and the answer to all those questions is yes. Uh, I did finish this game. But basically, I just wanted to make this video because... Last time I checked, I had 49 subscribers, or 47 or something like that. It was going up and down there for a little bit. But today, I just checked, and it's at 53, which, I mean, that's that's nuts. I've been, like, I've been doing YouTube. Literally, a week from today is the six-year anniversary of the, the first video I ever published, which was Rocket Dancer, part one. Uh, the first game, which is this one. And, yeah. Oh, shit. So that's, that's a little bit of lore, but I didn't even realize I hit 50. Because I haven't posted a video in pretty much a month. I've been busy with schoolwork, as some of you may know. And, um, I just didn't see. I, apparently I hit 50, like, in February. But then it went back down. And I've, I've been um, at 50 and steadily increasing for, like, the past month, and I didn't even realize. I just hit public on um, those two videos, and that's it. I didn't even check anything because they were already ready to go, edited and everything. So I was just like, you know what? Yeah. But, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for the people who do, like, stick around and watch the videos. I know I'm not... The best editor, I kind of just trim videos and that's that's it, but I mean 50 subscribers just for like pretty much cataloging, cataloging my adventures through different games is pretty cool. I mean, it's always just been like a hobby, really, but it's still nice to see that people actually care and that the effort I put into at least editing the videos... Um, pays off like a little bit you know there's people who get enjoyment or some enjoyment at least out of what I do which is incredible to me and it's really nice to see because that's kind of all I want in life is just I want to do stuff that people enjoy that's really it that's all I want and to see like just 50 people here um, you know following me following the journeys through different games that I post is really really cool and I just wanted to say thank you thank you to everybody who has subscribed watches the videos doesn't watch the videos watches for two seconds and then clicks away whatever it is you know thanks for being here uh, I mean that's really pretty much it I I didn't know how long that would take for me to say I don't even know what level I'm on I don't know if I should bother finishing the whole game right now I don't know maybe I should maybe I should finish it but, um, yeah, uh, there's something else I wanted to say, but now I've forgotten. Oh, yeah, um, more stuff is coming. A lot, a lot more stuff. As, as people who watch the channel may know, um, I am very behind on uploads because I get busy with school, and prior to, like, prior to, like, a, a year and a half, or, like, pr prior to, like, a year and a half ago, Maybe two years. At some point, I started to really grind out, like, editing videos. Before that, I was I was pretty lazy. I would only edit, like, on some days. And, like, you know, I didn't really uh, care as much. But, uh, yeah, about a year and a half or two years ago now, I started really grinding YouTube. And just, like, you know, posting two-a-day videos when I could... Just trying to get as many of those backed up uploads edited as I could. I'm I on the bus rides to school and like to work, I'm literally on my phone editing videos and stuff. Like I use every second of my spare time. Well not every second. I take some time to relax. I don't want to burn out. But I do use a lot of my spare time to just focus on specifically this hobby. And I put a lot of effort into it. Even though, you know, clearly the edits themselves don't have a lot of eff uh, effort. Like, you know, like I said, I mostly just trim videos. I don't add anything. 
but it still takes a long time, especially with all the school stuff that I'm doing. So yeah, backed up on videos, but if you want to know what is coming, um, I have the first few videos of d my Dark Souls 3 uh, playthrough edited, which there is a Dark Souls 3 playthrough coming. Um, there's the rest of Satisfactory, there's like freaking 20 more episodes or some shit. There's uh, Grounded, me and Oliver playing Grounded, um, me and Oliver playing uh, We Need to Go Deeper a few times, not very often. We played, what else do we play that I haven't uploaded yet? Oh, there's more Raft coming. Um, I think that's it as far as just me and Oliver playing games together. I don't remember anything else off the top of my head. But then there's also a Sekiro playthrough coming. There's a little bit more Elden Ring, and then of course the Elden Ring DLC is on its way, so... Oh god. The Elden Ring DLC is on its way, so there will be that coming out whenever. Um, probably a really long time from now. I mean, we're still four months or so away from the DLC, so... And then plus uh, however long it takes me to actually edit and upload it. After that, as for my plans of like what I want to do, like still playthroughs I have plans, it's a lot of souls of course, obviously, I've fallen in love with the series, clearly. My channel has been basically dedicated to it for the past four years almost? Yeah, four years I think. Ever since I got my PlayStation I started I think with Spider-Man and then once I got Bloodborne it was boom, all pretty much all Souls games from there. I first played Bloodborne, Dark Souls 1, 2, Elden Ring, and now 3 is coming, like I said, Sekiro. It's all on its way. And my plans, I plan on a lot more fist-only runs, of course, because I've also fallen in love with the fist-only challenge. Um, uh, I defeated Shadows of Yharnam, that's coming on onto the channel soon, and... Yeah, I I almost defeated um, Logarius. I'm really close. I've gotten him to second phase, and I can backstab him, which is cool. So yeah, a lot of stuff coming. A lot of a lot of oh, a lot of cool stuff. But uh, wow, six years is crazy. When I started this hobby, like I honestly didn't know where it was going, cause I thought like I don't know. I'll just I was like oh I don't know. I'll just try this out for now, and I didn't really think much of it. I, I thought like, oh, I don't know, if I put like a ton of effort in, you know, maybe I gained a following, but probably not. Um, I figured it would just, you know, be me and my friends. I still, I, I mean, I remained hopeful that, you know, it would grow. And, you know, making a career out of this would be pretty dope. Um, but I never like was that like hopeful. I wasn't like, oh, this is gonna happen or anything. It's it's mostly just been for fun, and so we, it's crazy. It's been six years because I didn't I didn't know how long I would stick with it or anything. Not that I'm consistent at all. Oop. Not that I'm consistent at all, but like still, I didn't know if I'd just like drop it entirely eventually. Like that's usually what I do with different things. I just like do it for a little bit and then kind of drop it entirely. And. Honestly, prior to YouTube, I didn't really have any hobbies unless, like, you count gaming as a hobby. Which, I mean, it's... I, I wouldn't necessarily call that a hobby. I'd call it more... Just, like, a way to unwind and, like, spend my time. Hobbies, to me, are, like, more... Like, you get, like, a physical thing out of it. So, like, with YouTube, I do this hobby and then I get, like... Well, not physical, but these digital, like edited videos proof that I spent my time doing something uh, and like I don't know if you like knit or something or if so you get like a scarf so gaming to me isn't necessarily a hobby so I guess YouTube would technically be pretty much the first hobby I ever had other than like when I was really little I played the violin I guess but yeah YouTube was the first I mean I do other stuff now kind of but mostly just YouTube oh come on I was really focusing there this this level is crazy 
Okay, let's see if I can just like speed run this shit or something. Down here? Okay. Nice! What the fuck was I saying? Oh shit, this level. I think I remember this being really tough for me. Or maybe it wasn't this one. Um, I literally have no clue what I was saying. I was focusing so hard. I remember saying, like, it's cool to see the channel grow a little bit. And just, I'm glad that people are, you know, uh, getting any sort of entertainment from my hobby and just what I do. There is another thing, and now I'm forgetting because I concentrated too hard. See, this is what happens when you concentrate. You should never concentrate. Oh my god, what the hell? The thrust on this thing is crazy. Yeah, I don't know, I guess I'll just finish up this game and then... Yeah, I don't know, like, what else. I know there are people who, like, do, like, super special stuff for their 50... For their 50 subscribers, or, like, their 100, or their 1,000, or, like, whatever. Like, you've got, um... Uh... I'm forgetting the channel name. Odd Ones Out, who did, like, the sprinkles thing, and, like... I don't know. <coughs> I'm really not that creative, so all I can do is really say thank you. And play the first game that I ever uploaded on my channel. Oh god, <coughs> this game is killing me. <coughs> if I ever hit, like, a hundred or any other milestone, I have no clue what I'm gonna do then. I mean, I guess I could just play the same game again, but... I don't know. I could count to 53. I have 53 subs. Maybe, should I, should I do that? Should I count to 53? If I did that, that's kind of like, it's the same thing with like how the odd ones out is like, oh yeah, every sprink sprinkle represents one of you visually. It's like, if I count to 53, it kind of puts into perspective like, wow, 53 whole people. God damn it. But I don't know, I feel like just counting is kind of cheesy or stupid, I don't know. If anyone watches this and has an opinion, gets this far in the video and is like, ah, if you have an opinion either way, you know, just comment it. Oh my f This level is- it shouldn't be this hard. This level should not be this hard. This level is- should be really easy for me. Uh, I guess I could talk about more of the lore of the channel, quote-unquote lore. But, Rocket Dancer, the first game I ever uploaded. Uh, wow. It's this game is literally killing me. I'm about to cough my lungs out. Okay, I'm I might be a, just a little a little bit sick. I have to admit, like I don't know why my throat started hurting a few days ago. Now I've been like coughing. My nose is like a little bit like tiniest bit stuffed up. Um, but yeah, Rocket Dancer is the first game I ever played on the channel, and I think I think it was part two of Rocket Dancer it got more views than. I had gotten, it took me basically like four, no, five years, I think, just to beat it. Like, Rocket Dancer 2, or no, Rocket Dancer 1 Part 2, I think it was, got like 2,000 views or something, or like one point, no, it was 1.2 thousand views. And I was like, what the hell? This is only like my third video, like what? And then, and then for years, I never got any any more views than that ever again. Like, Cool Math Games, for some reason, was, like, pretty successful when I first started out. Congratulations, you have won. Okay, cool. Okay, let me finish this thought, and then I'll, I'll close it. It's been going too long, anyway. I've been recording for, oh, 16 minutes. Um, but yeah. It took me, I was so surprised that it got that high of a number. And then I started uploading, like, PS4 videos, and those were getting, like, zero views. Like, one, maybe two views. 
for years, years, and then I started uploading Dark Souls 2, which is my favorite of the three Souls games, and the, the views started to go up to like 5 or so, and then all of a sudden, like 76 parts into my Dark Souls 2 series, one of those videos got 1.5 thousand views, and it was just some random ass video of me fighting Burnt Ivory King, and I was like, okay, I mean, yeah, hell yeah. I'll, I'll definitely take that, but I don't understand the algorithm. I don't understand YouTube. Like, <laughs> what? How is it that the, like, the most random videos of mine get pushed so hard? Like, first it was the second part of Rocket Dancer. Not even the first part. Like, people just clicked on the second part. And, it, and like, a ton of people clicked on it and viewed it for, like, a little bit. Not much, but... Yeah, it was like that for a long time, and then all of a sudden, another somewhat random video. I didn't even kill the boss in that video. I didn't discover the boss. I didn't explore an area. I just was farming for Loisels, so that was, that was wild. Uh, I'm excited to continue. I've got plans. Fist-only runs in pretty much all the Souls games. We're going to go Dark Souls 2, uh, Fist-only, after I max out all the Covenants and, you know, do that stuff. Then I'll do an actual on camera fist only playthrough with and without vanquisher seal um dark souls 3 fist only um elden ring and then my the scariest one i think would be dark souls 1 which is going to be last and then you know there's going to be more throwback throwback games i'm going to be finishing some games i'm going to finish shadow of mordor eventually uh um ghost runner ghost runner plants vs zombies all of that stuff eventually <laughs> Give me some time, please. Please, please, thank you. Um, but yeah, thank you, thank you so much for 53 subscribers. Uh, I'm looking forward to just, you know, seeing where things continue to grow and progress. And uh, just, you know, continuing to document my journeys through games. And yeah, anyway, see ya.